I'm Josh, this is Colin, and this is Perseverance, our floating off-grid home. Come explore with us as we sail to new places, we learn how to protect our environment, and see how we coexist with nature. We'll also make lots of friends along the way. Well, it is a beautiful morning. We weighed anchor in Wapu Creek this morning, stopped at Charleston City Marina to top off the diesel and the freshwater, and we are bound for Florida. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, where in Florida we're gonna stop next. We would love to make it all the way to West Palm Beach uh, in about three days time, just depending on the, the currents, or the, the wind rather. We might get slowed down or we might get sped up, so we have a few other stopping points in mind. Jacksonville or Daytona or Cape Canaveral. So we have a lot of options. Uh, our goal is just to get to Florida, get into warmer weather. It's been really nice the past couple days in Charleston, but I know Josh has been freezing coming down. He's soloed all the way down from Norfolk to here. And I know that was pretty chilly. So we're gonna move with the good weather as sailors do. Not much wind today. They've got these big pipes you can see here, just out here in the bay. And so we're staying in the channel to avoid all of that. And then behind me here is Fort Sumter. I remember touring that as a kid. And the Atlantic Ocean. So we're gonna go out there, take a right, and we are southbound. Josh is calling uh, Atlantic Towers to set up the shipping of our hardtop to replace our bimini, which we're really excited about. It's been about a year, year in the making, and it's finally completed, so working out the logistics of where to send it to, because we're thinking West Palm would make the most sense for a yard, just a DIY yard, someone that can use a forklift or something to set the heart up on the boat while we install it. So that's what we're working on now. The claw. <laughs> You're so funny. Someday. Just getting ready for our first night at sea on this passage. The swells calmed down a lot. We have some much knots. larger swells. Well, back to five knots, which is good. It's chilly. All right, it's morning. First morning after leaving Charleston. Pretty chill last night. Uh, the waves have gotten quite flat at this point. We're hoping if we do about five knots, we can make it all the way to Daytona. Um, so that would be really great um, if we could make it down there, because then it's an easy couple of day hops and stuff to get all the way to uh, West Palm. Con and I have been on three hour shifts, and um, I just woke up, so I'm trying to gather my wits about myself. Last night I did pass probably like 20 ships anchored outside of one of the towns. There are unlit missile towers out here off the Georgia coast that are unused at this point. I have not seen any of these towers that are supposedly unlit out here, but we had passed one or two last night. They're just out here and abandoned. You can't get someone to go up and put a solar panel and an LED on top of a tower to light it at night automatically. But anyway, I digress. I am... Um awake and watching for Josh now while he <clears throat> goes back to sleep. Finally got the wind filling in, so we've got the motor off and starting to sail. A little heeled over, but having coffee. The ocean swell is exactly opposite of the surface wind you kind of see. Are coming this way, and then the surface waves are all going this way, so it's kind of, kind of riding up and down, but it's not rough. Definitely warming up. The breeze is less bitter cold. Very excited about that. Well, the wind picked up and also started coming around more to about 90 degrees. So just put away some Genoa. It was a little too much sail for the amount of wind coming. So we were healing over pretty good. We we're doing six knots, but it was not comfortable. Our uh, Dodger Bimini connector here likes to flap and it's confusing because we keep hearing it and we think it's the sail flapping, but it's not, it's just a Bimini. Hardtop won't do that.
Oh, was that up there? Oh my god. <laughs> Windy? Fun to see dolphins. The wind is definitely calming them down, which is nice. The wave period is getting longer, but it's still kind of big, but I want to see some dolphins. Well, that rejuvenated me for a few minutes. And I definitely feel a lot better after seeing dolphins. Yeah. And the sun coming out. Yeah. Just helps boost morale. Got a Navy ship out here with us. I think a helicopter's trying to land on it too. They're circling behind it, a ways behind it. Like they're going to do an approach at some point. So that'll be fun to watch. If it happens before sunset. I feel like we're gonna be fine, but I just wanna ask. Just know what we're doing. Yeah. Navy ship, Navy ship. This is sailing missile perseverance. I want six over. Who the fuck is out there? Someone's close enough we can hear them? If they don't want to answer me, then I will just go maybe five or ten more left. But it does seem like they're just scooting right ahead of us. Maybe they're not Navy. Well, they don't want to talk to us. Well, guess we're okay. <laughs> Hopefully they don't point any guns at us. So, what else would you find 50 miles offshore except a fully inflated star balloon? and a Navy ship with a helicopter landing on it. No land to be seen, but it's full of shit out here. Good morning, it is our third day on this passage, Charleston, uh, to, uh, we decided Daytona. And we are just coming up on the inlet. We called uh, Tobo US and uh, got some advice on how to how the current inlet is with shoaling and stuff. He said we should be good as long as we stay in the channel. Pretty rolly in the last uh, 24 hours. Not terrible, we've been in worse, but not flat. It's definitely colder though. Really cold this morning. It cold as it's been how all far trip. South they go, it's cold. Yesterday during the day it got pretty warm and I was excited that we made it. We made it <laughs> to the tropics. God, but, uh, you know by the time we get to the keys, it's just gonna be cold until like March, right? Yeah. We missed it. It'll be it'll warm up again. It'll it'll warm up first there. Maybe so. we should just go we should go inland to a marina when it's warmer. Oh he said the M word. No, we don't like the A word. Anchor. <laughs> well, we're gonna go in this inlet and hopefully it calms down a bit, get out of the wind, and warm up but warm up a bit. Looking forward to that. Alright, we're inside the jetty. It's the first flat water we've experienced in 24 hours. It's great, it's amazing. The current is fast though, we're only going 3.2 knots. Still 24 feet right here, so that's good. Well, I guess we're gonna have to dingy that sandbar. Say hi to the birds. We are anchored uh, just south of Daytona Beach, Florida. Came in the Ponce Inlet. It was a smooth ride in. Called the Tobo US captain on the way in just to get an idea of what the inlet was like and uh, he said as long as we stay within the markers we'd have plenty of water which was true and it is nice just to be sitting still there are tons of like mangroves and birds in this anchorage we're one of about three boats here and uh, boat yard fuel dock uh, over this way so I think we're gonna shower and shave and relax and uh, might take the dinghy in there's a lighthouse and a little marine science center on the island here that'd be cool to check out. Uh, I know if we vacationed here and visited it growing up so that'd be cool to see again. And uh, might take the dinghy explore uh, some of the mangroves, try and find a laundromat, and uh, yeah, you know, plans. We'll just see where the day goes, but really happy to be anchored and not moving. Next time on Explore with Perseverance. We are going to check out the Daytona Beach Ponce Inlet Lighthouse and Museum. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. It really helps our channel grow. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon.